Well, good evening. Donald here again. And I'm going to show you how to adjust the headlights on a Chevrolet pickup. Probably works for GM, works for several others. Right over here is my driver's side uh, low beam. Right over here is my passenger side low beam. You can see they're not lined up. Hadn't been for a while. So been putting this off for a while. Decided to finally do it. Here's what you're going to need. Going to need an E10 Torx. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm doing this in late evening. So we can see the headlights on the garage. There we go. This is what you need. E10. Go down Harbor Freight. Buy a whole passel of them for just a little bit. Now, on your uh, Chevrolet, GM, whatever. You, right here... This happens to be in front of the um, air filter box. You got these little torques right here and right here. The inside ones on each side, they move the light left and right. The outside ones move it up, up and down, up and down. Now remember that outside one. So here we go. Now, turn it counterclockwise to bring your beam down. And I'm doing this with one hand. I don't know if you can see it moving. Counterclockwise on the passenger side to bring your beam down. You can see it moving right there. It's just about right. We're going to call that good right there. Pretty good right here. Right here is the uh, driver's side. Right here is the passenger side. Now, um, to raise it up, you would go clockwise. And uh, if I do some measuring there, and I'm not one of these that's going to measure all that, I just want to get close. Uh, and, uh, so let me go around. And on the driver's side, here's the one on the driver's side. This is the inside one. It's going to move it which way? Remember? Left and right. This is the outside one, and it's going to move it up and down. Now, let's see. This may be a little different on this one. I, I can't remember. I don't know that I've ever had to adjust this one. Driver's side one. So we'll go. We're going clockwise. Yep. Going counterclockwise moves this and down. So. See it going up. Now I'm going clockwise with it now. And we're to. Okay, let me hit my high beams. Okay, there's high beams. I don't know if you can see it, but looks like my passenger side is pretty close. Here we are over here. I'm looking at, I'm looking over the camera, so um, I may move it a little bit out, and we'll see if we need to go up or down. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna go to this one here. And it looks like from this angle, it looks like I need to go up just a little bit on this one. So I'll go ahead and we'll go clockwise once I can find that. It's down in here. I don't know if you can see there. Oops, still ain't got it. I can see it, just not through the camera. There we go. Now I'm gonna I'm going counterclockwise, so it should be raised. There it goes. It's getting raised. Now we're gonna try, move it out a little bit. If I can finally get on this one. There we go. And it looks like it's moving, counterclockwise moves it out, I believe. Been a while since I've done this, so. Let's go back to our low beam and see what we look like. If you watch my other video, you know I just put in some new lights a couple weeks ago. Uh, da -da -da -da. I need to raise that passenger side up again. It didn't help it. Or it went the wrong way. So, but it does look like it did come out a little bit. And... Oh, wrong way. Okay, now this is clockwise. And it's raising the beam, as you can see right there. If I stopped watching over the camera, I'd get it better. There you go. Okay, let me see. Let me sit and 
I'm going to stand right in the center of the pickup. And it really looks like maybe now that this one, the, the um, driver's side needs to come to the left a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yes. And, and the movement to the left right is I'm doing a clockwise and it's moving the beam out. You can see it moving right there. So, there we go. That's, you know what, that's pretty close. There we go. Not happy about that high beam, but we'll just have to see when we get on the road. If everybody keeps flashing me, I'll just have to get a, I'm sitting here looking at this and it looks pretty decent. So, I believe we've got it for right now. And it, but at least now you know which way to where to find this uh, adjustment screws. Uh, once again, this is the driver's side. And I'm, hey, I turned on the, my blinker works. This is the driver's side, and so this this one here towards the outside is going to move it up and down. This one moves it left and right. I don't know how well you can see this because, like I said, it's getting dark, and I, but I just wanted to do this because it's <clears throat> something I need to do for a while uh, after putting the new um bulbs in so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe down here to keep getting updates when these new videos come out so anyway there you go that's how you're going to adjust the headlights on your uh i think this works from about a 1999 to somewhere in 2005 2006 maybe 2007 so anyway thank you all for watching Catch you on the next video. Go out there and make sure your headlights are adjusted. Donald for Blue Collar DIY. I'm out.